Your punishment is death. Any last words? Oh, hey, hello. Yeah, it's too late. Yeah, I can't. Right. That was my hair appointment. Right. Put your head back out. Are we going to be done by three? No. <laughs> Die now. Often used for petty crimes, people would be putting these and paraded around town for humiliation. What time does the parade start? Not that kind of parade. Oh. Used mostly for women, you'd be tied to a stool and dunked into an icy river. The amount of time you spent under would vary. The real ice bucket challenge. Even begging was considered a crime, and if caught, you'd be severely beaten. <laughs> a branding iron had a long bolt with a wooden handle on one end and a brand with a letter on it on the other. Different letters were used for different crimes. For example, an S was used for a runaway slave and an F was used for a fighter. Guess he couldn't take the heat. Used by interrogators on prisoners. This was a simple device used to slowly crush someone's thumb. It sounds painful, but at least they had a smashing time. The victims were tied to a board by their wrist or ankles. The rollers at either end of the board were pulled in opposite directions to cause stretching of the body. I couldn't think of any more jokes. I got one, but it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cause so much tension. Having opposite effects of the rack, the scavenger's daughter compresses the body together. This is kind of compressing. The most common form of execution, you were suspended in the air and strangled to death. Hang in there, we're almost done. <laughs> Ropes were attached to each limb and they were attached to horses while they slowly were being pulled apart in different directions. Talk about a split personality! If you severely offended the state, you would be hung until you were half dead, then taken down, quartered alive, cut, and thrown into a fire. I'm glad we don't live in the Renaissance era anymore, but remember, no matter how much you hate our government, at least you get to keep all of your body extremities intact. Now here's a clip of us mixing the Renaissance era with modern day trends.